everyone welcome to our channel science of life and this is preeti your science mentor students in today's video we are going to study about the chemical reactions and the types of chemical reactions see what are chemical reactions before knowing that you should know what is chemical change chemical change we see in our surroundings everywhere in cooking also burning also digestion of food also baking of cake also lots of chemical changes are there but today i am not going to teach you about the chemical and physical changes for that there is a separate video in this video we are going to study only the chemical reactions and the types of chemical reactions now what is chemical reaction chemical reaction actually is when the substances form new substances how they form new substances when the bond between the substances are either broken up or a new bond is being formed then the new substances are formed that is called as chemical reaction now what is the use of chemical reaction why we are studying this see because of these chemical reactions and chemical changes only we used to get new new products for example the cooking of food baking of cake and your cosmetic products also your moisturizer your creams everything are because of the chemical reactions only so if we are not going to study the chemical reactions then how we are going to make the new new products so that's why chemical reaction is very important now what are the requirements for chemical reaction the basic requirements for the chemical reactions are reactants energy and catalyst or enzyme reactants as i told you the substances that undergoes chemical reaction for example if i have to make a cake then i need flour as well as water baking soda these are the reactants when i will combine them together and then only the product will be formed that is cake so reactants are the basic requirement in chemical reactions and reactants are always written in the left hand side of the chemical equation and products are written on the right hand side now coming to the second that is energy energy is needed to bring any kind of chemical reaction for example you need to bake a cake then you have taken all the reactants like flour baking soda water milk now now when you will bake it in the oven so oven will give energy means energy is required for baking that cake and the product will be made that is cake so reactants are required and energies are also required so now definition is clear to you why chemical reactions are useful and what are the requirements of chemical reactions that we have discussed now let's come to the type of chemical reactions now basically there are four types of chemical reactions so the first one is combination reaction or addition reaction from the name itself you can identify what's going to happen in this addition means adding the two things and what we are going to add here we are going to add the reactants here so that the new product will be formed here you can see on the screen also one boy is there and one girl is there now there is a plus sign means we are adding them both this girl and boy are the reactants and arrow is being shown means yield means product is being formed and what is the product their friendship they have come together so in this way only combination reaction takes place two reactants two or more reactants combine together and form a new product let's take one example look at the screen hydrogen and oxygen these are the reactants and these are the two different elements now hydrogen combined with oxygen to form the h2o that is water molecule and we all know that this reaction is very very important because we need water for living purpose so hydrogen and oxygen combine to give water and this is the example of combination reaction and this is very very important now coming to the second type of reaction that is decomposition reaction decomposition reaction means in this substances are being broken means the bonds between them is broken and the new products are formed now i will show you this again with the example look at the screen here on the screen you can see that one boy and girl they are having the bond together means they have a friendship now this bond is been broken by some processes you can see in the product boy is separated and girl is separated so that is the decomposition reaction means the bond in between the substances are broken down 
and new products are formed. Let's take one example that is silver chloride AgCl2. Now when the AgCl2 is being kept under the sunlight then it becomes grey color that means silver is being separated from the chlorine. So silver remains in the petri dish and chlorine gas is being removed from that. So the bond is being broken between the AgCl2 and it is being converted into silver and chloride separately. So this is the example of decomposition reaction. Now coming to the third category that is displacement reaction or single displacement reaction. Now the name itself you can identify someone is displacing someone. Yes, in this reaction one atom of one element replaces the atom of the another element. That is called as displacement reaction. See again I will show you with example. Look on the screen. See, here you can see one boy and one girl are standing together means they are having the bond between them. Now one another boy is standing there. That is the another element. Now in product side what you can see that single boy is now replaces the boy with that girl in there and that boy is being displaced. Means what he has done he has broken down their friendship and the boy has been displaced and he is now standing there and he is having a friendship with that girl. That means one atom replacing the atom of the another element. That is the displacement reaction. Look at the example that is iron and copper sulfate. Now what will happen this iron will replace the copper from the copper sulfate and it will join there. That means the product will become FeSO4 that is iron sulfate and copper has been replaced. So here we are getting the new product that is ferrous sulphate and the color of it also changes. Now coming to the last category that is the double displacement reaction. Here double displacement means the atoms of the two compounds switches their position. Here in the picture also you can see two couples are standing there. One boy one girl again one boy one girl. But now in the product what you can see they have switched their places and a new product and new bond is formed. So this happens in double displacement reaction. Let's take one example of double displacement reaction that is hydrochloric acid and NaOH sodium hydroxide. Now what will happen when they combine together? The atoms switches their position and what is the product NaCl? You can see that they have switched on their positions. And salt is being formed. NaCl is the common salt that we use in our diet also. And water is released. So this is the example of double displacement reaction where they have switched on their places and we got the new product that is the common salt. So my dear students, these were all the chemical reactions they uses and all the types of chemical reactions. Combination, decomposition, displacement and double displacement reactions. Still, if you are having any doubt, you can ask me in the commenting box. Till then, keep learning.